scary because this is like an actual haunted house attraction or I'm like nervous to go around the corner because I'm thinking about seeing this red-faced demon thing. Do you like to hurt people? Come on, do it again. Come here. What is it? Come here, come here, come here. Come here. I want to get out of here. here. Okay. No, I'm, okay. dude, I'm free. Okay. Tonight, we are here in the House of Chaos. A woman was possessed here, allegedly. The flies just started to come oh, here. Weirdly okay. enough. Now, what's interesting is that this building has quite the storied history. An unsolved murder, there was a fire that killed six people, decapitations, amputations of limbs, and there's even a demon, or should I say, there's two demons in here. One nicknamed Red Face that is notoriously evil and has, even tonight while we were starting the intro to this video, shown himself to us. We have at least one child entity that's in there. We call her the little girl. So when you say Red Face, do people think that that is a human or a demon? Um, some people People say that he could have been human and he died in such a violent way that it made him angry and other people are of the idea that he is just a pure demon that is manifested and he's attached himself to the property. It was huge. It had to be at least eight foot tall. Who are you? Steven. 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 Oh, Blaze? Oh. The fire. The fire. Oh, oh our light just came on. Oh, oh, oh and the other one. I thought I heard somebody come in here. That was off. Yes. Show me. Please walk towards us. We might be able to see you. It's Colin here. Tonight we are at the House of Chaos in Tyler, Texas. Now, let me pose to you a question. What makes a haunted house? Is it the fright? Is it the spirits, the energy? Well, this building that we're in right now is a haunted house attraction in the fall season. People by the thousands come through these hallways expecting a fright. What's interesting is that this building had this building. Now what's interesting is that this building has quite the storied history. There was an unsolved murder that occurred in the 90s outside in the parking lot. These buildings themselves served as the home offices of Tyler Pipe, an industrial pipe manufacturer back in the 1940s. There was a fire that killed six people in one of these buildings. There were decapitations, amputations of limbs, lots of workplace accidents, and there's even a demon, or should I say, there's two demons in here. One nicknamed Red Face that is notorious notoriously evil and has even tonight while we were starting the intro to this video allegedly shown himself to us so it's very very freaky but come with me over here take a look when I say this is a haunted house attraction I don't mean like an old Victorian home this is literally as you can see a typical haunted house attraction where you know someone might be hiding behind here oh you know <laughs> try to scare you there are some definite weird vibes in here. Once again, let me warn everybody watching this video that because in this investigation we are dealing with a particularly violent and or evil entity, I want to warn y'all that it may be possible for energies or spirits to travel through the screen. So if you're watching this at home and you're susceptible to this type of energy, you don't want it in your home, you probably shouldn't watch this video because whatever's here is known to be evil. It hasn't really been investigated, but it's just been experienced. So the whole family's here tonight. We got Mama Spooks right here. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited. It's kind of hot. It is kind of hot. Yes. So I put my hair down cool. for the intro, so I'm going to... Yeah. Tie it up afterwards. Me too. I think it's time to go lights out in the haunted house. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> well, let's go back to earlier today. Hello, I'm Joseph Rodriguez with World of Chaos here in Tyler, Texas. And I'm Chase McFarlane. Uh, first, we're going to explain about uh, Robert Thefford, who was heinously murdered over here at the, an older site of here in World of Chaos, which the building is no longer here. Back in 91, this happened, and it's still one of the top unsolved cases here in Tyler, Texas, of who actually killed him and what has happened. 
and, but as much information that we have gotten and gathered is uh, the building in which I was able to dig myself was the building used to be right here in this location of uh, here in the parking lot. And right here in this square, in this area right here, is where the uh, murder happened. I'm not sure what side, but uh, Robert was a homeless guy that had permission from the owners at the time. And uh, he was, well, we're assuming he was asleep, passed out asleep here in this, and it used to be a shed. One night he was sleeping or during the day, he was passed out of sleep and he had a bicycle that he always rode around town. And some individuals came up here and uh, got in the cinder blocks and caved it down onto his head, caving his head in back in 1991. Then over here, we have uh, from this building right here, used to be old Tyler Pipe back in the 40s. Uh, they've had uh, numerous accidents of their workers getting hurt. A lot of the people in town didn't know anything wouldn't know anything about it because it's you know keep quiet you know hush money of course tyler pipes at a whole different location on the other side of tyler but right inside this building as you can see from parts up here you can see a little bit of the charred and burnt from the old building and the same building still resides here today so what exactly does tyler pipe produce industrial piping industrial piping for uh, oil wells, uh, mainly for uh, the uh, oil rigs here in Tyler. I don't like being here alone myself. And you can see partly right here in this area, you can see the burn, the char, that still resides here. Watch yourself. Might be a little slick. You can still see the bracing of the old burn. Now, as far as I know, I think there were six, six or seven workers that were killed in this fire. They were young because the, the working age was different from the 40s than it is today. Uh, there were some middle-aged and younger and a younger child, or young child, I would say child, but a younger person. They had, uh, what I understood, they used to have a, a second deck they used to go through and it was part of a structural collapse that happened. And, uh, and of course, as you can see, when they built this, there's not very many uh, fire exits, you know, for them to get out safely. Of course, you know, safety back then is nothing what it is compared to this now, especially here in Tyler. So no one knows how the fire started? Not. Not 100% particularly. Uh, from what I've dis done some digging online, it could be possibility of accidental misproper use because I know they mess with multi metal. Of course, it could have got on anything and caught there. Uh, also, it could have been a lightning strike, too. So there's no official cause of the fire. How about accidents and all that stuff, amputations? What, what all happened here in the buildings? Uh, as far as accidents, there were a lot, several deaths that happened uh, because there were, if this was a heavy machinery place, they, uh, there's been some amputees, uh, lost their arms, their legs, and of course medicine today is nothing what it was back then, and there was, your survival rate on there in that point were kind of iffy. What's the paranormal activity like in, in here? <sighs> The other side of this wall is our uh, second attraction that we have. Um, it is a 3D clown attraction. And I've been here since a haunt has been here. And on the other side of the wall, back in the corner, is probably where the most of this activity in here is. Um, we have uh, at least one uh, child entity that's in there. We call her the little girl because she likes to run around causing mischief and laughing at people while she knocks stuff over, moves stuff. Basically kind of makes you feel like you're going crazy because you're like, I left this here and it's gone. <laughs> uh, there's also another entity that's a little more uh, malevolent than she is. He's called Red Face. He likes to hang out there with her too. Um, he's more of, I want to get physical 
Like, I want you so scared that you do not want to be here anymore. Like, I will put hands on you. You'll walk out of here with marks. Um, you'll hear me banging on stuff, throwing it at you. We've had a couple of our employees that just refuse to be in some of the rooms because they just feel uneasy because it's one thing to, to be kind of scared of what you can't see and what you can't control. It's another when you almost know in your bones that there's something in there staring at you and you don't know what it is, you don't know what it wants, and you don't know what kind of experience you're gonna have. So we've had to move people around constantly because they just feel uneasy in certain rooms. And it's, it's kind of scary. Like, you get used to it after a while, like, I'm a manager, I've been here 15 years. You just kind of get in, you don't mess with them, they don't mess with you for the most part, and uh, announce yourself. And a lot of times they'll leave you alone unless they just want to mess with you. They think it's funny and you're like, I'm not having fun. I mean, our boss man was actually up here a couple of off seasons ago fixing some stuff on one of the roofs. And uh, out of nowhere, his, his ladder fell to the ground slid down the hallway and you just heard <laughs> and so, and it was a little girl trying to play a trick on him just tossed his ladder down the hallway and got him stuck up there he ended up finally uh rolling off and getting out and he's like you know what i'm done for the day <laughs> i don't want to do this anymore but since then every time he comes in here he'll walk in open the doors kind of bang on the walls and be like hey guys i'm here you know i don't want any trouble tonight and most of the time we can we can get work done without them messing with us, but the closer we get to October when we do what we do, they get hungry. Like they feed on the fear of the people we shove through here every year. Last year we shoved a little over 12,000 people. And then by September, they're just, they're hungry. And so they'll mess with us more and more and more the closer we get to opening. But once we're open, a lot of times it'll die down for the most part, except for out here where we are, where we park over here. Sometimes at night, uh, you'll come in here to get your car or whatnot. You'll hear banging on the tin. It could, it could be the building settling because of the wind going through it. But uh, I know if you park anywhere near this entrance here or near the uh, little cage we have to the outside, you swear something's staring at you in the dark, but you can't see it. So you just kind of want to get in and get out as quick as you can. So this area. Yes. What is the... You were saying like the most active place. Can you kind of point it out? Right. Okay. So when y'all go into this, can building, you take us in there? Uh, or we have to go through the outside. But it's the back right -hand corner. We we have a lot of off season events up here, and uh, one time we came up here and uh, basically kind of did a little lock in, and we decided to play what people call underground church. You go off and you hide. Somebody's got to go find you. Uh, one of our other managers actually was in this building hiding and he got into a corner. The way he tells it is that he was in the corner and somebody was there and he said, hey, this is my corner, you need to leave. When he finally got his wits about him, he looked around, nobody there. Something about that night made, made uh, that particular manager decide he didn't want to be up here by himself anymore. Hmm. Makes <laughs> or sense. he'd like to carry a flashlight or a glow stick. And he likes to walk into rooms and kind of flail his arms to make sure there's absolutely nothing there and it's just not his mind playing tricks on him. So when you say like red face, for example, mm -hmm. do people think that that is a human or a demon? Um, some people say that he could have been human and he died in such a violent way that it made him angry and malevolent. Other people are of the... Uh, idea that he is just a pure demon that is manifested and he's attached himself to the property and just wants to hang out. We've did a little bit of research on red face and the little girl. Uh, the little girl from what we can gather probably was somebody that died on the property and so she's attached to it in some way shape or form. Uh, there are a couple places around Tyler that are like that uh, where something would happen like a fire or an accident and at least one of the people that perished would attach themselves to the property, to the building, and just live here. Um, for the most part, if they don't mess with us, we don't mess with them. 
we try and give them as much of a wide berth as we can, but still, we still have to do stuff out here as well. So it sometimes can be a little bit of a dicey situation with a give and take between us and them. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Now, with this one, the one he's talking about this particular corner, uh, me personally, watch out step right here. I've been physically attacked in this corner. I can't tell if it was that face. All I know is after I got attacked, um, I wanted to go. I left. I had, uh, it's like somebody just slapped me on the side of the face right here just before I had a lot of beard. But my face was just red. You know, my ear was red. It was just almost the shape of a hand. Hmm. So we've rebuilt, but pretty much it is this corner all the way into the next room. They like to just hang out around here. Um, I've come in here more times than I can count and I swear I hear footsteps or voices and it can get a little unnerving, especially if you're in the dark like we are. Yes. Not knowing where it's coming from. Now, the little girl likes to hang out in this room if she's in this building because something about a jack in the box <laughs> takes her back to childhood, even though she was a child when she perished. Uh, right here in this corner used to be a stage uh, for one of our scenes that we did and uh, we had more of a ramp going right there. I was sitting on the ramp, we were sitting there just talking, you know, just BSing around and I just got this dark, ominous feeling like, and I don't remember who, who was next to me, but he said like, are you okay? And I just looked at him and I just kind of, he said that was the most blank stare I've ever gave he's ever seen. Only thing I remember was going that way down that tunnel, which is the same vortex tunnel that was there then, and outside to the front. And where I was able to kind of like catch my breath, able to breathe a little bit, because uh, it was it was very nerve wracking. And that happened right here. Right here in this spot, I was my exact spot where I was sitting. Of course, the ramp was a little bit more higher, and this wasn't here. It was about right here, because I remember up against right here sitting and up against this post. And you Our, think that that was red face, one of them? Most of us talked about it, and that was our conclusion, because it's not just me that's had uh, physical attacks. There's been several others that's happened to. Uh, in one of the front rooms before we changed the theme in this haunt, one of our girls, uh, she was like one of the uh, first person you you walk into, she does, does her spill and whatever. And one of the sets that she did, she sat on a desk that was uh, on, it was in the corner of a room. And uh, and our normal actor that was there was gone for the night. So it was a replacement, you know, take her spot. First time she's ever worked this room and probably her first season here, if I remember correctly. Uh, of course, she didn't know nothing of the history of anything that's happened. I remember her freaking out saying something was dragging her legs because she was sitting on the desk and it drug her legs like it was trying to pull her off the desk but she said there was nobody there she was looking directly at her feet and something was given pulling her legs trying to get her off that very tear. physical yes. yes more of the physical it's in here in this haunt there was one area that was all mirrors we were building you know, for that scene, you know, or not that scene, but you know, we're in a different section of the haunt. One of our uh, bill crews uh, had his uh, girlfriend, you know, walking around doing her doing her thing, and she took a selfie in that mirror room, and you you can distinctly see a entity right behind her, and she's probably for where I stand, probably about yay high, and uh, this figure was way above me because. I remember taking that phone and, you know, comparing it, you know, to try and get a height. It was huge. It had to be at least eight foot tall. Uh, black cylindrical body, a little bit of a whitish wash on the face. And it was kind of a blur of a face. You can kind of get what I'm going there. Wow. Other than that, there's been several instances of weird noises, door slamming, uh, stuff being thrown. It's bad things happen in here and what exactly happened in here i don't know for for something to be that angry in here 
And what happened with the possession? Do you guys know the story of that? We did have a person that, uh, I can't remember if they worked here or they were just up here with us. We were walking around doing stuff as we do in the off season, rebuilding, uh, trying to plan out different rooms and stuff. And uh, yeah, it actually happened. It was wild and it was very scary. What happened exactly? Okay, so what happened was we were, we were out here doing our work and uh, I believe it was one of the girls. We were out here working. We would, we would be like a couple rooms apart. Like I would be in this room. Somebody would be about two rooms over. We'd be doing some work. And so we're yelling back and forth to each other, talking, you know, just trying to pass the time. Cause if you're here for umpteen hours into the night, sometimes it drags on and sometimes you just don't want to be alone. So we're calling back and forth, talking, having fun, repainting, redecorating. And uh, one of the people just stop talking we're like okay what's going on did they leave the building uh no they didn't leave the car was still here i uh, couldn't find them in the bathrooms couldn't find them in the other house couldn't find them in the office okay well, what's going on well we went to investigate and we walked around and we used to have a room two rooms uh behind us that had a table in it that we had a body on and uh back then this was my house uh, I had stapled some stuff onto the table to give it some distressing to place the body down and uh, they were underneath the table. We could figure out why. So we're like, okay, what's going on? Why are you underneath the table? Next thing you know, they start to talk and that ain't their voice and that ain't no language I've ever heard of in my life. Uh, they're kind of snarling. Uh, they're talking incoherently based on, you know, I know English. I know a couple other languages. This isn't something that I know. It, it seems like gibberish and they were very angry. I don't know what it was about that room, but uh, it took us a little while to coax her out from underneath the table to get her away. But once we got her out from under the table and got her out of the room, she started to get back to normal. And the thing that was just mind boggling and crazy about it is the fact that we were recanting what happened. Doesn't know. Just, she said she walked in there and the last thing she remembers, she was uh, doing something with the table, trying to put some more set dressing on it. And the next thing she remembers, we're outside all wide-eyed, white as sheets, talking to her about something she doesn't recall. Wow. And that was a good, like, 30, 45 minutes that she just lost. And that was right over here? That was a couple rooms from here. Uh, it is different now, but uh, if you want, I can show you which room yeah, it was. Yeah, sure. Sure, we'll walk back up the tunnel. Yeah. Uh, it never fails that any time we take uh, promotional photos in this building, um, we have to decide if the photo was just taken weird and wrong, or if it's an entity, because it never fails. It was actually this room, right in there, there's something now. But it never fails that we have to look because we'll find little white swatches in the uh, photos or something hanging out in the background. And we've basically kind of figured out that our photographers know what they're doing and it's nothing they photographed or it, it's not them moving the camera. It's something's there because them and the people in the shots are like, there was nothing there before. Hmm. And now there's feetless white wisps of smoke and stuff. And it's just, and in this room right here, there used to be a, what we call the mirror room. There used to be uh, plexiglass mirrors on each panel of the wall right here. And from the picture that she was taking, uh, she was right about here, standing right here. And she was facing this panel right here. It was right over there. And it was behind her right over there. And there was there. nobody else in this room at that time? No, because we were... We were actually all in the main haunt mm -hmm. over there. And we, we didn't notice until later when she was just looking through her photos she took that night. She's like, did one of y'all come out and try and mess with me? We're like, no, we were, we were all over there. <laughs> Even her boyfriend wasn't in this yeah. building at the time. That's yeah, he was, crazy, he was with us. Man. So right here in this room, there used to be a desk from the wall to about right here. Of course, the, the normal girl that normally does her her spill, her act, you know, you know, she'll stand up on this table about right here and does everything. Well, she was gone that night because for I think it was something with her family, whatever. 
and then we had assigned somebody else uh, to this room. And she, what she was doing was laying across, you know, and she would come up, you know, like raising from the dead, you know, and just, you know, trying to grab a hold of guests, you know, which we don't do that, make that clear. But out of nowhere, her legs were about right here. And, uh, and her legs were being pulled this way, like from the corner. Don't know what it was or anything. It was more uh, dark. Uh, we had, I think we did have a black light on in here and a normal yellow light. So there was plenty of light where she she has a good view of the room, everything that's around her. She was, she point blank said, there's nobody in here in this particular room with her when that happened. Wow. A lot in here. Man. <laughs> it is, wow. it is. I've, I've heard some of the actors say, you know, I was doing something on the floor and I was laying on the floor doing something and something pulled me across the floor or just jerked me real quick. And you have to discern, okay, are they just, are their minds kind of playing tricks on them because they are in the dark in a place that they know is supposed to be haunted and things have happened or is real. So, and sometimes it's hard for us to be like, well, I can't discount anything somebody says anymore because at the beginning you're like, well, maybe you're just messing with me. Like you move just right and you're like, oh, I moved six inches to a foot. Well, that was you, but now you can't discount that anymore. It's like, well, possibly. Uh, all we can do is tell you what we've found works with dealing with them. You know, you give them their space. Announce yourself when you come into a room or come into uh, the building itself. If at the end of the night you say, you know what, I just can't do that room because I'm just not feeling it or it feels weird to me, uh, I'll find somewhere else for you to go and that's fine. I'm not going to put somebody in a situation where they're not comfortable and they could be in any kind of danger with anything else that's going on around here. I can't do that uh, in good conscience because we are a family at this point. Everybody that sets foot on this property to work, we look after each other and I can't in good conscience. I wouldn't do it to my actual blood family and I'm not going to do it to you because I know what it's like to be up here in the dark by yourself with everything that goes on outside of these walls in this side of town and everything that happens inside these walls. Uh, there's no such thing as crying wolf anymore. Not around here. And the boss found that out the hard way because he used to sit there and discount everything we said. And we're like, I ain't real, it ain't real. But I assure you after he was stuck up there for about 15 minutes and had to crawl himself back down on the outside of the outside wall and watched his ladder go 15 feet down the hallway back to the door, he's a believer now. <laughs> and there was a, there was a thing that happened just this last year. Uh, one of her guys, he's way bigger than I am. And trust me, I'm, I'm a fat boy. His whole acting spill was, you know, take this pin, you know, and slam against it. Of course, you can see the damage he's done. Well, before he does that, there's a access window right here, you know, between where actors can communicate with one another. And he had his uh, back, you know, turned to right here. And I remember, uh, going back on the footage or security cameras and seeing this and uh, I know him pretty well it was an odd move for him what he did because I think there was no BS what he said happened uh, he said he was standing about right here then all of a sudden like someone just grabbed his shoulder and just like was about to break it and you can see in the camera he turns real quick you know because he's trying to, you know, make sure there wasn't nobody there. Of course, these, you know, inflate, you know, where you can hide in these real easily. He, of course, you can easily, you know, go like this, you know, and check, and there was nothing here. <laughs> and we know it wasn't the actor in the next room because she was right here, her head out the window, right here. And we eventually did get some guests, you know, coming through, uh, and they came through here. He comes over here, you know, and he slams you know, the barrel hard as he can, and he comes back in the corner. And just out of nowhere, you can see his whole body just go like against the wall. Now, the guests are right here. The barrel was more over here at the time. The guests just came around this corner, you know, of course, they think it's part of the act. You can physically see him just, no, that's not okay. <laughs> he, 
he did uh and he told us about that and I, was, I went back on the camera and you could see him you know physically getting you know kind of pushed thrown on the wall not exactly thrown it was more it was more of a you know a little bit so, of, yeah it caught him off guard yeah put him into the wall yeah wow and then there's one more thing there's some nights that we we're ready to get out of here because we we're drained because of working because it takes everything a lot of a lot to go on well in this room right here and sometimes we will forget to turn the lights off or turn the switch off in this room right here and we know for a fact there is not a soul in this building we have a motion sensor that will go off will sound this off as like a little horn and it'll just randomly go off in the middle of the night for no reason at all and uh, we've double checked the uh, the sensor, which I know pretty well of, of the mechanics of it, there should have been no reason why it uh, went off the way it did. So something had to break, and it's an IR uh, sensor, so something physically has to cross it to break that beam for that thing for this to go off. So you guys would definitely say that this place is haunted. Hundred uh, percent. Yeah, thousand, uh, you you, thousand. you can't tell me that it's not. I've seen and heard of enough. And the feeling you get sometimes when you're in here, it, there's no other explanation than there's something in here that I don't see, and it probably is not a person. And it seems kind of angry. It's this this building here. Yes, it's like I said. This is where most of the attacks happen. You know, people are actually being physically touched, uh, pulled, hit, and so forth and so on. I got one more question. Okay. So, why do they call the entity red face? When they present themselves, one of them looks like it's the outline of a nondescript red face. He wants to do more harm to you and the stuff around you. Yeah, he's gonna wanna, you know, mess with you and attack you, but red face, you never know, because he's very volatile. Red face has, in his face, it's more of a little bit of a reddish glow per se sunken eyes um sometimes you might see a mouth and by a mouth i mean wide gape with like if it's red face he's got red going across it kind of looks like jackal lantern teeth but it's just it's weird wow it's weird i've seen it on camera before um red face hasn't presented to me yet knock on wood because I don't want to mess with him but I have seen a little girl uh, it's just a little it looks like a little school girl yeah I've, I've seen a little girl also which is a whole different section of the haunt where I found her and I've seen the full figure of her Thing just stopped working. It does that <laughs> and what uh, it is a treadmill motor, and it's sitting in these little grooves. And what happens is it'll it'll get going enough to where it bounces enough to pop itself back out. So you gotta roll it, pop it back in, and get it. Wait, so nobody just came in the building? No, it's just the I swear, of us. you guys were over there too. We were just up front, and we're like, Man, that's not. You know what's really weird is, right when that stopped working, mm -hmm. I thought I heard somebody come in here. Like I thought I heard like this. It's the four of us. And then it and stopped. Now you kind of know. Like what immediately. Oh, well, that's trippy. Yeah. So I straight up thought you guys had come and turned this now off. We were up front, coughing, trying to see why this. That's a brand new motor. Okay, so just explain, can you, what just happened here? Well, 
through right when yeah. it turned off yeah we were like well because we know that it skips and it will stop so we got to roll it back onto its track tracks. and uh so what he was just saying uh well, so there's a uh a hand control in there and it has to physically be turned off for that whole thing to be off i mean if you want to see it yeah. i cannot believe that we just got that on camera so this is the hand box as you can see, if you look at the bottom, it's all in these, these little wheels. So what we thought happened was it just skipped out, so we just needed to come in here and roll it to pop it back in. That was awesome. Huh. Wow, dude. That's a little creepy. Okay. But this is what we do with on um, regular. <laughs> on regular. That just think, that's normal, and that, that's a light thing that just happened compared to crap that normally happens here. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the world of chaos. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just am setting up the equipment, and the very first word on the Obelisk 5 was Diablo. supposed to be a and fire fire student Diablo students fire and this is where they're supposed to be red-faced demon and uh, anyway I just want to make sure to record this first word is Diablo students fire I'm going to turn this off and tell sneak. our host sneak okay I'm going to turn it off wait for uh, I'll wait for the owner Charles to get back they're on a tour right now with Mary and Colin doing the interview with the other guys and I want to kind of ask him about a fire uh, without telling him what happened here and students actually okay that's it so when I was in here setting up you guys were in the other room uh, REM pod was going off over here on the chair um, actually this speaker uh, I had hooked up to the spirit box completely died. Just this is dead. Really? And yeah, it, it's dead. It, when I was getting it ready, that completely died. And then I turned the Obelisk on, uh, the Obelisk 5 on, and I recorded it actually. And the first words that came up see Diablo? And the Obelisk 5 was Diablo. And then the next was students. But the first word was Diablo, which to these guys means red, red face. face. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. Weird. And then the third word came up, and then fire. 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 fire so Diablo Whoa. students fire, the and then right. I then I turned it off after that. This is what they're supposed to be. So that's what I captured. Weird. That happened right as we were. Yeah, when you guys having the wheel filming. thing. The yeah. wheel thing. And you were just talking about. Yeah. It could be. Might have stirred it for that. The big fire that they had back in the day. Yeah. Or. And possibly they're upset about the one we yeah. had recently. And I wonder if students. You never. You can't just put everything together, you know, and make right. sense out of every word. But I wonder if students. I would assume there'd be like a ton of students that come through here. Yes. You know, as far as like. Yeah, they work here as actors. They work here. Just yep. like so I don't, you know, it's kind of interesting, I think. Diablo, years, Diablo and Diablo first by itself, Diablo, right away. And a lot of times that thing can stay on for a long time, and you won't get a word. Hmm. Wow. So, so 
I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, everybody. So Colin here. Once again, welcome to the Paranormal Files. We are so glad to have all of you people watching. Welcome to the Spooky Family. If this is your first time joining us for an investigation, we're so happy to have you. Tonight, we are here in the House of Chaos. We've got a static camera right there set up. We've got a static camera. And this hallway over here is shooting down. This is supposedly one of the most, I want to say, active areas in this entire complex. A woman was possessed here, allegedly. Um, her eyes were rolling around. I can't remember exactly what he had said, but there's black fluid coming from her mouth. She didn't know where she was. A very evil, um, almost present. Uh, the Ooh. flies just started to come oh, near us, weird. weirdly okay. enough. Um, Ooh. Okay. Well, I think it's like... Dive yeah. okay. If you want a chance to win a free Paranormal Files gift bag, we give one away every single week to a fan of the show. All you have to do, it's very simple, is go like the video. So like this video right now, don't hesitate, like it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and comment in the comment section below, I love chaos. You don't have to actually love chaos to comment that. I just love seeing the interaction. It helps the videos do better. So I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to say I love chaos in the comment section below right now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, better go comment. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. So we're gonna announce that winner very soon. It's very hot in here, so I'm gonna actually put my hair up now that the intros are all <laughs> over. Here are my parents. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. We're ready to go. We're, we're excited. Ready to get, get it's the, gonna be creepy. Let's get some chaos going. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's get some chaos. Okay. Okay, well, okay. let's do this. We're gonna go fully okay. lights out. Okay, everybody, to whoever's here in the House of Chaos, maybe the Tyler Pipe Industrial Factory building. My name is Colin Brown. I'm here with my parents. I'm Jeff. I'm Mary. And tonight, oh, 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 oh immediately the flashlight right behind me just, just went off. Right when I said we were about to talk to you and we introduced ourselves. Okay, if that was you and you turned that flashlight on right there, can you turn it off again? Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming in here and saying hi. Or you, oh, our oh, flashlight just our came flashlight on over here. Oh. Just popped on. Yeah. Okay, we should go on this here. Okay. Well, that's crazy. I set those both up at like the same time too. Oh, it went off. Mine's still on. Oh, no, mine just went off too. Oh, I feel creepy. Oh, dude, I have a chill in here behind me over here in this corner. I thought I heard something in your area. Me? Yes. To everybody who's in this building, if you're a human spirit, you're welcome. If you're not a human spirit, you can sure as hell come talk to us. We, uh, we want to treat everybody with love and respect. But if you are the the more evil spirits were obviously not afraid of you. So you can't bully us. Um, but especially if there is a spirit nicknamed Red Face, we want to talk to you tonight if you're here. So if you are here with us in one of these areas, can you, uh, oh, I was just about to ask it to touch the light. <laughs> Thank you. So you are, you're over here. Can you turn our light on? You can also go and touch that red light and make those lights come on or those balls there. You can play with those too to make them like a toy. They won't hurt you. Thanks for letting me know that you're here, by the way. You can, oh, I was just saying, you can turn the light off. We've got some little toy balls set up 
And there are two devices. They're called REM pods. You might know what they are. They're the little red lights. If you could go towards one of those red lights. Oh, there's a quick, oh. there's a big creek over there, Colin. Is that you guys? No. Yeah, oh, there's a big creek over here. That was kind of by you again. Those red lights. Those red lights. Can you do that again if you made that sound? If you movement over here. I heard that. If you movement over here. If you movement over here. If you are here and you perished in the fire or in a industrial accident or even a murder. <gasps> right when you said that, my flashlight blinked. Again, can you turn our flashlight on or make the lights go off for me? Dude, I feel, oh, right, I was about to say this. I was just saying that, I just was, oh my God. I was about to say, I feel somebody right in front of me in this hallway. And my light came on right when I said that. Okay, can you come on this side and do the same? Oh my God, dude, I am actually, I have chills over here. I don't know what it is about this area. It's like behind me right here, if that makes any sense. I think you do have something in there because it's fairly quiet out here. Oh, oh, our light just came on. Okay, okay. So if you're here, can you make the red light go off beside you? Oh, oh our light just came on. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, our light just came on. Okay, okay. Oh, went off. No. Okay, then, can you just bring the light back on with your energy if that's all you want to do? Just turn the flashlight on again then. If you're with us also, we would love to hear you move something, knock on something like that. You can touch me if you want. I know there's a little girl or a child in this building. Oh, right when you said that, my light came on. I've got children. Oh, oh. look at the light just came on. Oh, that's right. Okay, keep going. And I... I am just here to help you or play with you. We are totally friendly. We're not here to harm you. We just want to communicate and help you. Can you let us know your name? Yeah, can you make some sort of noise? Can you make the flashlight go off again? We just want to help you. Or you can come and touch me. I know there's somebody that likes to scratch women. Oh, okay, right when she said that, her light came on, it goes off, that's a yes. Okay. Is the person that scratches women not very oh. nice? Uh oh. Do you want to warn me about the person? because I know that they don't like women and they mainly stay in the other shed. If your Diablo that came up on the obelisk make the light come on, if you're not, make the red light come on. Oh my God, the light came on, Colin. Diablo. Diab oh, I got chills on my legs. If there is a demon here, light up one of those flashlights. Oh, I heard a knock. My, my legs, my lower legs are just like on fire. Did you just hear something? Yes. I heard a, huh? Ah. Me too. My, my legs, my lower legs are just like on fire. My, my legs, my lower legs are just like on fire. Is there a demon here? Wow. Man, I'm like very disoriented back here. Do we have any other Should I turn on the SLS, Colin? Sure. Yeah. Just to get some. Oh, the light came on. 
said yes, that means yes. Is that it? Oh, oh. There it goes, Reverend. I got the obvious seat. So, do you want to talk with this? And you don't have the other screen? I said it's in one of the backpacks. It is. I heard something right above me. Mm. I feel something right in front of me, right there, dude. I just said that. Oh my god. There's something, there is something right here. I feel um, like sick to my stomach in here. Here, mom, you want to come sit right here with me? Let's do it. Oh, oh, right when you came in here. Turn the ovulus on. Doesn't it feel more dizzying in here? It actually does. This right here. It just. Oh, oh God. It just, oh, oh, oh. Right when you came in here. Did you not want her to leave? I mean, it probably wouldn't fall over like that. When you said it's dizzying in here, like all of a sudden. It just feels uncomfortable it does. in here. It's really, oh. Is it uncomfortable? Is that because of you? It's like my back hurts. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I want to sit. Yeah. I don't know. It's just such a, it's much, it's a weird feeling compared to the other place. Mm -hmm. I mean, this just is, I don't know what it is in here. I feel like there's just somebody here uh -huh. that is just like standing. Down that hallway. If you're, uh, if you're down there, can you turn that off? Oh my gosh, Colin. <laughs> oh, and oh, the other one look. just came on. Jeez. The other one just came on for it's half a second. Crazy. It's like it keeps walking from oh here God. to over there. Sorry, I just saw it like a over up. there. Okay. okay, I have a device right here in my hands. It should be able to pick up your voice. Can you answer our questions? Who are you? Steven. Steven? Steven. Which? Stephen Up Witch Blaze? Oh, the fire, the fire. That's the kill people. That's really weird. Thank you for that response. Was your name Stephen? Stephen, do you want to talk to me? Blaze, that's oh. so weird. Did you die in the fire here? Triangle, drive, set. Oh. Drive, set, threat. Oh my gosh. Ring. Ring. What do you mean? Are you threatening us? That light's on too. Oh We're having this one. I didn't even notice. Office. Office. Mad. Mad. Mike. Mike. Oh, that's weird. Are you in the office? Oh. Is that where you like to hang out? Can you turn the light on if your name's Mike? Oh, those are my... Mike! Are you here with us? Adultery. Mm. Funeral. <gasps> Energy. What the... Boots. Hunt. Oh. Hunt. Oh. Altar. Boots. Hunt. Chart. Altar. Look at this thing. It just started going yeah. crazy right when we heard that noise. It was so quiet before. I don't know. All that means. I have no Here, idea. I'm gonna give this to you. Okay. That's interesting. That's odd. That dog was. Oh god! It sounds like it's close. It's like right here. Conditions. The light came on. Fear. What the hell? Why is there? That was clear. That is unclear. <laughs> Why there's a dog? Noise conditions unclear. Yeah, I know. the dog is like literally. Solid. Joe, wound. Joe? Well, I mean, the guy had the head wound, of course. Uh huh. With the brick and the mm -hmm. first minute block. Yeah. Oh. Save. 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 Dark. Dark. Oh, well, it is dark. Dark right when the light went out. Are you a dark entity? Is that what you're trying to say with all these weird words? Are you the one that said their name is Diablo? Something's trying to tell us something. Is that a chicken? I think it is a chicken. Sense. 
Sense the dogs are sensing something. Oh, and the light went. Oh, murder. Murder. Hurt. Hurt. Oxygen. Murder. Hurt. Oxygen. Fire. Can you turn that light off if you were murdered? Johnny. Johnny? Hurt you, Johnny. However. Can you turn the light off if you are the murderer? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Why did you want to kill that poor man? Disturb. Describe. Guy. Rule. Underline. Gosh. Was he breaking rules of some sort? Scared. It seemed like some of those words that you just gave us made it seem like oh, oh. he was breaking some rules, like I already said. Maybe I, that's true. I think so. Definitely. So if you might have hurt that man because he broke some rules, can you turn the light back off? I feel such a weird... I feel like a pressure in my... <sighs> Up here, my sinuses and my ears are popping. Gosh, will you get that? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it got duller. Right when I said that. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, are you affecting me? What? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Are you doing that to Colin? Giving him some sinus pressure? Trying to tell him something? <gasps> Look at how that thing's staying on. That's weird. Do you want to do even more to me? Is that yes or no? Oh, I feel like a chill. Do you feel something yes, like that that yes. just kind of came down here? Yes. Thank you for these responses. Okay, we're gonna go walk out of this hallway. If you don't want us to leave, can you turn that flashlight on? Oh, that one, they don't want us to leave. If you want me to leave this hallway, just turn that flashlight on. Last time I asked you, if you are Diablo, who you said you were on the obelisk, make the flashlight come on. You can do it. Show us you're here. It's crazy. Oh, really? It didn't went off in yours. In mine? Yeah, it's on. I told you whatever was in here was kind of evil feeling. That's okay, though. If that's you in there, Diablo, can you turn the light back off? Come out of that hallway. Oh, no way. Okay, so. <laughs> that was eerie. It's red face. And this, oh no, this one's still on. Diablo. Oh, I got chills on my lower legs again. Oh, and the dog. dog. barking. Like it's something's going on. Uh -huh. oh, he knew arms. something just came. Oh, I feel cold. Uh -huh. uh, I feel a chill right here. We should have our sensor. Okay, so. And this one's off now in here too. So. It's just some box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Diablo. Whoever's in this room, can you tell us your name? Oh, oh I just come over here. Who's over here? I can feel you right here, right now. Who is standing right here, right oh. now? Baby. Baby. You want a baby? Is that what you're saying? You want to do something to a baby? Oh, that was a giggle. Uh -huh. I'm getting like a weird sore throat in here. Look at that. Okay, do you want us to stay over here? Oh, I feel very, very, I feel dizzy. Very, 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 very. Yeah, very dizzy. Very dizzy for some reason. What's your name? Oh, it's over there. That's something. What's your name? Are you red face? Face up. Almost. What's your nickname? Dylan? Dead? Okay, so I'm gonna go with uh, the idea that it's Diablo's here. Insight. Not sight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Diablo, what's another name for you? Red. I did. It's not like red. Oh. Oh, look at the light. No, no, no. It's on. Diablo, are you good or evil? 
Oh, oh, music box. Oh, jeez, that's first time. First time. Oh, my legs are not even there either. Oh, what was that? Argumentative. Argumentative? Oh. And where are you, Diablo, in this building? Are you... Oh, that's the same voice. Mm -hmm. Again, where are you? Are you in this room? Are you in the back? Outside? You're waiting. Where do you want us to go? Oh, light, Mary. Light came on. No. Oh, the light came on in here. Oh, it hits here. We're gonna see yeah. it. I wish I could get my. I feel a thickness right here. Okay. Smells funky too. Why is there an evil spirit here? Why? Oh, oh, what, oh, is oh what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? You fucking what, hear what? that? No, no. What was that? I don't know. Oh. Either a car or something. I heard really something loud. Back here. Scared the hell out of me. Sorry. Okay. It, if there is something evil, red face, <laughs> why are you here? Turn off again. The flag's just back here. Yeah. We should go back in here. We need to make this light go off here. Come and touch this red light. Use your energy. Oh. This one. He's coming. It's on the light. Who's coming? Do you like it that we're here? We want to play. We want to play. Oh. We want to play. Okay. Let's play. Oh, yeah. right when you said that, that light oh. went off in there, man. Oh. Well, kind of said Yeah, go ahead and play with the lights. Show us you're here. The ball. We're here, I heard. Right when you said that, we were here. Do, Do you want to play with the balls? Uh, oh, no, that's a really clear male energy. I'm, I'm like feeling charged here again. Me too. I feel like sick this to my spine. Here. Oh. oh! Okay, you're here. You're here, guys. Let's start playing. There's no doubt. There's no There's doubt about it. <laughs> so do you like women? You think I'm your mom? No. Your son? Your son. Ink. 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 Is there something bothering you? Ooh, in there behind you. Oh. You're gonna okay. walk in here? Sure, if you can lift. Sure. Just go for a second. Does this light? No, we got two. Are you in this room? <laughs> Is red oh, face? Oh, right when we left? Is Red Face here with us? Oh. What is Red Face? Is Red Face human? Oh. oh. Okay, we're going to move on to a different part of the, the house soon. We need you to give us something bigger. Can you knock one of the flashlights off of the chairs if you're touching them? <laughs> or maybe even make them blink on and off. Oh, oh it's dimming. <laughs> oh, Colin, I did say blink it. Yeah, you did. Oh, he's here. He's here. Oh, he's here. Oh, right oh, when oh, that oh, went oh, off. I know. He's here. I know. <laughs> Oh, cool. Whoa. Who is he? That's what we're trying to figure out. Tell us your name. Who are you? Oh, the lights came on here. It's Diablo, dude. Can you say that? I web on my arm. Spider web. Almost like someone just touched me right Oh, really? Yeah, but... I'm tell you. Is there someone here that wants to hurt us? Well, yeah, whatever's here seems to. Oh! 
I s- well, I said you would go to a different area. Yeah. Then it kind of either yes or, or, no. or this thing is yeah. here. So are you feeling this spider web on my arm? I'm. I keep kind of feeling like a little bit of like a cool breeze, and then I think the air conditioning. But there is no air conditioning. <laughs> no, it's hot. It's hotter it's than hell. Hotter than heck. In it seems like we're in contact with something. I don't know if it's the little girl, Diablo. All, all the evidence we've gotten points to all of them. Somebody who even died in the fire, the blaze, and Stephen. But we're going to move into the most haunted part of the haunted house attraction now. The clown area, the tunnel. The very infamous part that we, even earlier during the interviews, experienced a, a massive piece of paranormal activity. That was crazy. Thank you to anybody who's in here. Do you have anything else left to say or do? This would be the time to really scare us, or... If you don't want us to leave, turn the flashlight on. If we're pissing you off... (laughs) (laughs) Sorry I said that, because I'm ready to go. (laughs) Okay, well... Thank you, and uh, yeah, let's go. Let's get this thing going. Oh my gosh, it's a wheelchair. Oh, wait, Jeff, look it. Have you seen this, dude? Did he show this to you? No. Check it out. Oh! Oh, God, Jesus, God. That was loud. The scary part was it almost killed my head. Jeff. Jesus. <laughs> that was such a not exciting reaction. Oh my You're god. Just like, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I tried my best. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you didn't I actually got Somebody should have been there. Oh. oh. Or the face. Hey, we got our camera over here too, our static camera. <laughs> what? What? My hair? Oh, Stink bug or anything? Oh. That's weird because I kept just feeling spider webs on me, <laughs> but there weren't any. <laughs> the ramp, okay. If you want to set something up in the other room, you can. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> swearing. Jeff, don't go through that wood. Dude, this thing's, thing's going to turn on. Well, hurry up, get down there. Decapitate. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus, Jeff. What the heck? Jesus. Jeff dropped a, a piece of his walkie oh, talkie down there. Here it is. Oh! Did you actually okay. find it? I did. Oh, there you go. There. Damn. Good job, man. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I'm being careful. <laughs> this freaking doll. Look at this thing. It's attacking my leg. <laughs> Goes right here. Look at that. Kind of. Don't drop it again. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing? Uh, This is a very slow boat we're on right now. That's all it does. Okay, I'm gonna walk down over. Okay, everybody. So now we are in the clown maze here at the World of Chaos Haunted House in Tyler, Texas. This is the tunnel. If you'll remember at the beginning of the night when we were conducting the interviews, this tunnel that was on for B-roll purposes actually turned off by itself. The the switch was flipped from on to off. So there has been an energy in here all night. Definitely feels creepy. And this area that we're about to investigate back here is where the possession happened. This building itself has seen a lot of violent physical activity. People pushed against walls, ladders, Sliding and flying across ceilings. Joseph, who's our yeah. Remember? Oh, right behind you. Okay, there's a key over this. Right above us. This is definitely a really creepy area. You ready? Mm-hmm. This looks like a horror movie. Mm-hmm. You know? The light of my flashlight beam in the dust. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Are you here? Did you come? Keep coming. Mary. Keep coming. Make that device go off. I'm sure you're over there. 
the voice recorder just started playing from inside the bag. Oh, that's oh, weird. Geez. Is this a... Oh, what was that? Oh, look at the light went off. Look at Mary. The light's going off. The music box. The music box is going off. Come on. Come out. Come on down. Come down. They've snuck by. Oh, that's the first time it's gone off. Keep coming. How many of you are coming? Oh, I'm feeling like the charging again. Your case, sirs. Yeah. Yep. Keep First. coming. If there's more of you, you can come on with. It's almost like you know people are going through the ride. Right. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, oh my God, dirty. Oh, Marnie. You okay? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Keep right coming. when you felt pain. Look at it. It's yes. like a ride. To anybody here in this maze, my name is Colin. I'm here with my parents. I'm Jeff. My name's Mary. Oh, a knock. And if you've possessed people in the past, if you've shoved things, if you've touched people, we'd love to see you do that again tonight. We'd love to see you throw something, move something. We're not afraid. Oh, this is trying to manifest the light here. Are you, are you right here in the corner? This is where you attack Joseph. Can you play with this light right here? Oh, look at the wall. Oh, the, the wall. motion wall. wall, right when you asked it to right play with the asked. light. Uh-huh, yep, that's right. Thank you. Keep coming, everybody can come over. Thank you. You're welcome to keep coming over. How about this light? Oh, the light, the light again. It's just like barely, barely trying. Looks like there may be a really weak energy. Can more of you come over by this light and make it go off? Use this light right here. at you, dude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, it is. Keep coming. <laughs> Play with those balls over there. They're, they're fun toys. Come to this light. Touch this light. So, again, is Diablo following us? You say it like that. I don't know. I'm asking you. What do you is think? Is Diablo following us? Let's not make this too funny. <laughs> We're in a clown house. I guess so. Diablo. There's a noise too. Here. I'm gonna Diablo, if you're here. Everybody that's here, this device, you can speak into it and tell us what you're thinking. Yes. You. Messenger. Oh, okay. Has. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Raid. Always. Okay, come and speak into here. Tell us what you really want to say. Something here. that makes sense. I, I, um, you, play, or how, yeah. I'm really um, going with the light. Mm -hmm. Paranormal music box. Thank you for keep keep talking. Oh, that's going nuts. <laughs> that didn't go off. I don't know. No. Look at oh, the light. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What the heck? Oh. Why am I standing oh, over like here alone? Really, really. <laughs> Can you tell us your name? Oh. I. Uh, oh, yeah. What? There's, a, there's a, a crick. There's another one. It's walking on planks in front of you. Hey. Oh. Wow. 
you. Look at the light, the light bulb's off again. I Man, that thing's going nuts over there. Ooh. There's definitely, this is where Joseph yeah. said the energy was at in this corner. You. Where he got attacked. Did you attack Joseph over here? No. Joseph. Almost sounded like. Can you say his name? Who you attacked? If it's you? You. you. Oh. Oh, you oh, hear that? Big noise over here, guys. Yeah. It's like Where are you in here? Can you knock on something or move something? Keep playing, because I'm going to let you play with this device. Please, come on. Oh my gosh. It's got to come up yet. I feel weirdly attracted. I can't, I literally cannot see, by the way, guys. Here's what I see. Throw pod. I cannot see my hand in front of my face. Oh. Oh, I feel really creepy back here. Can you give me a sign that you're here? What's happening here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I feel really creepy back there. Really? Yeah. If you can hear our voice here in the building, please walk towards us. We might be able to see you. Thank you for showing us that you're here already, but we would love to see more. Can you let us know where you are in this building? We gotta stay right here. Show yourself, please. Let us know you're here. I thought I just heard like no. the like voice. Echo. Down? What is that? Do you not want to come across the tunnel for some reason? Red red oh, face? Over. If there's anybody in the tunnel with me, can you touch my jacket? Or touch my arm? Okay, we're gonna do an EVP session now and walk around with the SLS. So I'm gonna hit record. There we go. Okay. Can you turn the volume down on this? Okay, I'm gonna restart the e EVP. I'm gonna restart the EVP right now. Is there somebody here? What's your name? If this is red face. Oh, 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 oh. What the f was that? What the f man, right when I said red face? This is red face. Oh, oh. No. This is red face. Oh, oh. No. Red face. Is that you?
Who just made that loud bang? someone punched the wall with their fist. That was not just a normal creep. My fault, you know? I can't see here. Who's in here with us? like an actual haunted house attraction mm -hmm. where I'm like nervous to go around the corner because I'm thinking about seeing this red-faced ghost demon thing you know in like a real haunted house attraction you're waiting on someone to jump out that's actually what it feels like it mm -hmm. feels like I'm waiting on someone to jump out and scare me like there's someone here in this maze with us it does. you know do you like to hurt people Did you die around this building? Come put your arms out. Oh, what's that? Okay. Hang on. Walk towards us right now. If that was you that made that bang, why don't you bang again? Again. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh, huh. It was rolling. Yeah. Okay, I think we had. Oh my god, look at my leg. Do you see how much I'm shaking? Yeah, <laughs> Did you have a light in here? Yeah, right. yeah. yeah I got we had like a. Uh, maybe. Oh, well, that's well, something, something rolled. Roll it sounded like our cat ball, maybe. Well, it was up, you. On the, up on the. That's not uncommon for it. Uh, oh. What? Dude, what was uh, that? Was that him? What? No. There's you went over There was something. That's something up there, isn't it? Really? Oh shit. Dude, yeah, this is don't let it drop I don't want to be in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, that's probably got to be the scary. Something threw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit, we shouldn't marry. We shouldn't be by the opening right here. Jesus. I don't know where to go. Dude, what are you? Nothing? Nope, not in the other room. Oh, 
Holy shit. Yeah, that's normal. I mean, that was like, that's, yeah, that, that was like a, impossible. like a ball up on. literally do the balls. Oh my god. Maybe we should let him tell them. Didn't you hear scurrying? But, like I thought for sure. No, it know. sounded like literally a cat ball got th yeah. it was banged. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but then just a couple minutes ago, when they thought it was... Oh, that scared the shit out of us. Yeah, well, I, I thought I heard one of y'all running in the hall because I heard bang, ah, uh, and then scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. No, yeah, don't forget, y'all? that was no. the loudest no. bang ever that started that off. Yeah. And then the ball rolling. Yeah, that, that was like, we thought somebody was here. <laughs> No, it's, no, there's no other way to get in. Because the no other way room to get in is the room that uh, the door y'all came in, and that door is secure. So just for the camera's purpose, you guys checked the roof, every entrance. You guys got security cameras too that you're watching. There's Correct. nobody. No, nobody's nope. come in or nothing. Nope. No animals. Nope. I climbed no up. I looked on the entire roof of the haunt. I looked into the other room that we walked in here through because we store stuff up top. There's. No possums, no cats, no nothing up there. Wow. That's crazy. But at the same time, that's that's normal for us too. <laughs> Those kind of noises like that. Dude, it's like really that Yeah, big. that's crazy yeah. too. Right when that it had the bang happened twice, two big times. The yeah. first time yeah. was right when I said, Is Red Face in here? Boom. And it was like a big knock. And it sounded like it was right. Oh, that's me, that's me. That's me. You were you were inside the office. Also, also, you could hear it? I could see I could hear you as soon as you said red face. It's not like it was a loud, like, bang that happened. It, it, from what I could gather, it had to have been either from in there or right here. I couldn't pinpoint the sound exactly. It's another day in the life of a world of chaos for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, suppose, yeah. This is a world of chaos, truly. <laughs> we were thinking, yeah, there was, like, somebody here, like, you could hear. To explain what happened real quick, right when I said red face, which is the supposed negative demonic entity's name, first really loud bang scared the hell out of us and I can't even I was so afraid by that I can't even remember what we were just talking about but there was one of the loudest bangs I've ever heard in my life and then it literally do you feel cold dude mm -hmm. it's cold. no I just feel like a chill just came in here well, I feel colder here for sure like it's cooler here and I didn't feel this so the behind. whole time that we were standing over here man like we were just here for like 40 minutes and I feel like all oh, my hair is on. And then it sounded like somebody threw a ball or one of our cat balls up on the roof above us and was like stepping close to us too, you know, the noise. It was like kind of right near where, like rolling almost towards us. Do it again. What the f- Colin. Dude. Okay. Come here. What is it? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. I want to get out of here. Okay. Okay, so, you know, we, we have two cat balls, right? Mm hmm. Do we pick those up? Yeah, I put them back over here. Okay. If that was you who just made that loud noise, can you do it again? But I mean, it wouldn't be anything up here. This is fabric. Yeah. Isn't this right where we were? This is right where we are. Oh, I'm like scared to be mm -hmm. here now, man. It's creepy. Let's have somebody kind of draw them in here. Yes. You know what's crazy is I, w I had just been talking about how this is like a haunted house attraction where right. things happen and you get scared. And like a minute later that thing scared us so bad we, I was like, we need to leave. Okay, if that was you who just banged on the something in here and threw something at us, can you do that again? Genuinely, I feel like one of the scariest presences I've felt in a long time right now. Like a pain in my head. Okay, we're gonna get ready to leave pretty soon, so now's the time to interact with us again. That's the only time that that went off as well, when that thing got thrown, mm -hmm. right? That was the only time. Do you have a cat ball in your pocket, Mary? No. Mm -hmm. Jesus. 
Oh, I do have a capo on my pocket. Are you serious? Why did you bang something so loud? Toy? Toy. Toy, toy. Look at that capo. Oh. Wait, oh, oh, there goes, oh, oh. there goes. Toy. It is a toy. Did you just throw one of these? Can you throw it at one of us? That one's about dead. Can you move one of these balls near us, these toys? Did you, you wanted us to stay? Can you move the ball? Open something. Open something, like what? A door? Can you come over here and play with this red light? Sad. Trapped mistake. Right here, Sad come over here. Move. Here, I'll set it by you. Play with that light. Diablo, if it's you, we're leaving. Make this red light go off. Make it go crazy. Use your power if you're so powerful. But it was round because it was rolling. Yes, mm -hmm. it literally sounded like a cat ball. I've heard so many times when we've. Oh, right there. I mean, even earlier, Mary accidentally kicked a cat ball. That's uh -huh. what it sounds like. Uh -huh. It's that Can you thin, make plasticky. Mm -hmm. Can you make the other device go off with it? You, use your energy. Move it over. I know I stuttered. <laughs> I'm actually tired. Okay, everybody. So I know we didn't get to do as in-depth of an investigation as we'd like to to explore all the buildings here, but since we're shooting tomorrow, the next night, the next night, a lot of investigations and we've got a lot of big things to work on. It's already almost one in the morning. We've been here since six o'clock, so we're gonna call it a night. I think we captured absolutely incredible evidence from beginning to end, the flashlights, all the different things that were going off back there. <laughs> right there when I said that. Hmm. Yes, the cat balls. Personally, I have never heard something like what we just heard. Have you guys? No, never. It's, it was kind of unbelievable. Yeah. yeah it was it's, so loud. It was definitely a, a rolling something, sound yeah. on like tin and, and loud. Like right, it sounded like it was above us. Oh, right but above us. It was really. Didn't something else happen when that happened? Uh, the oh, the REM pod went off. Mm -hmm. The only time the REM pod, <laughs> I guess, the only time the REM pod went off was when that mm -hmm. that thing mm -hmm. happened. That was it. And then it is kind of strange when you did just say that, like, oh, I feel like something's gonna scare me. Yeah. And then we just yeah, went around right, the corner, and right. then it actually did. And then they came in and they heard it. They've got it on camera. Do you want us to leave so we can quit disturbing you? Okay, right on. Hmm. Yeah, thank you to all the spirits in here, people who died in the fire, the man who was murdered, everyone else. We want to thank you seriously for the engagement and everything. And we hope all of you all are well in the afterlife. And Red Face, I hope you find some peace too, my man. And don't follow anybody. Follow us home. Nobody. Not you stay here. Okay, guys. We'll see you next week. We love you so much. And uh, stay spooky. Woo!
Hello. 